Oh my God. So this video is very scary towards my career as an Android developer that I am from the last three years. Let's find out if ChatGPT can replace me and if it can help you make Android app published to Play Store and put ads on it to make a lot of money. And, and stay till the end because I'm going to tell you the practicality of AI replacing software engineers or not. Bing.com, let's ask latest trends on Android apps to make a lot of money. So best money making Android apps is here. Let's go to chat. So let's see the answer through ChatGPT. Seems like ChatGPT on Bing.com is down. So let's go to chat.openai and let's ask the same question and let's see. So the AI model is telling me that it doesn't have data beyond 2021, but it's still giving me some ideas, but not exact idea. It's still giving gaming apps, e-commerce apps, health and fitness apps, but not telling me the exact app. But I have experience, so I'm going to go to Play Store, play.google.com, and I'm going to tell you the apps which make a lot of money with minimum effort because I have the experience in this field. So here you can look up for wallpaper apps and you will not believe why wallpaper apps because we have tools like DALI 2 where you can create no copyright images which can be used for wallpapers. So this image like it is so futuristic and this image can be recreated multiple times with no copyright. So that's why this is the best way and hottest way to make money right now. And now you can also use mid journey because this is also giving you copyright free images. All is dependent on your imagination. More creative words you write, more interesting images will come out that way. Now let's go to the wallpaper apps again. And here, if you take a look at all of these wallpaper apps, so let's say, I love you wallpaper apps. This is like these, these I love you wallpapers can be created on Canva with unique tests, but you don't even have to do that hard work because you have AI apps like mid journey and Dali. And most importantly, if you see that it has 5 million plus downloads and it contains ads. So if you want to figure out how much money you can make using these downloads. So if you consider the SEO, so money through through Android apps, ads. So if you search how much money you can make, it says $10 to $200 a day for 1000 active users. So it's not dependent on downloads. Depending on how many people are actively using, you can make money. But honestly, I'll tell you that people change wallpaper once in a month or once in three months, right? But still for every new download, you can make decent amount of passive money. To be exact, my friends have made around thousand to two thousand dollars maximum per month on a good month, but as low as hundred dollars as well. But kya farak hai? like you just have to make it once, publish it and that's it. You are ready with your passive income. The reality is you can make money beyond your imagination. It depends on luck and demand and supply. So let's explore this method. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a simple wallpaper app for me in Android Kotlin. And you will not believe with a simple prompt. I'm not even asking a complicated prompt, just a simple prompt. It is giving me step by step answer with all the libraries to import. It is teaching me how to use an API as well, which I thought like, you know, ki a ChatGPT can only make UI and that's it. But no, it can help you use APIs from different websites too. So it is telling me that use Wally. -E. At this point, it has stopped generating code. So I'm gonna type continue generating. And now it is creating a method to fetch wallpapers. Let's wait. So exciting. Let's complete this Android app and let's ask to add more features. So I'm gonna open Android Studio and I'm gonna create a new empty activity. And now creating an empty activity, I'm gonna paste the code. So in dependencies, I'm gonna create the library, Volley library as it mentioned. Now next step, go to Android manifest folder. This is like mom of Android app. Like mommy se se na, you ask your mom, can I go to the bathroom? Can I go to Goa? Can I go to Florida? So same as Android manifest, you are giving permissions 
to Android app to go to internet to set wallpaper. So we are just adding these two permission lines. And then next step is we need to create some files. It's, as I mentioned, number one is wallpaper model. And then next app is wallpaper adapter. Let's just copy paste. I'm just doing copy paste. And my goal will be for the whole video, do not to not to use my logic. It is all going to be just chat GPT. So next step is the main activity app. I'm just gonna copy paste. And then this is one problem it doesn't have the code for UI, UI Kangya. So for that, what we can do is, uh, there are some errors in the app for now, but let's come back to the errors later. Let's complete the UI. So for UI, it is telling me to create network image view. So it is just for part of the app, but not complete UI. So let's just copy that in wallpaper item. So copy the wallpaper item as well. And now we need the UI. So I'm going to ask chat GPT, so now I'm asking ChatGPT, can you provide activity main.xml because UI is needed. So now it gave me, I had to ask for it. So I'm gonna paste this in my activity underscore main, create it. So here are some errors. I have to use some logic. Or you can say that you need to use your brains even while copying. So that's what I'm going to do. So here you can see recycler underscore view is not found. So to fix this error, I am going to rename in my UI and let's fix the other errors. So let's see if I can use chat GPT to fix the rest of the errors. So here you will see that number one error that I can see is in the file wallpaper adapter. So if I go to the adapter, here it is in line number 24. Copy pasted code has an error. And I think it is kind of obvious because you know these libraries keep getting updated. So to fix this error, I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT, copy this code, go to ChatGPT and I'm gonna ask it, fix this method. Because you know, I think it keeps track of the conversation so it should be able to. So let's see what it gives you. So it's saying, assuming you're using network image view. So now it is giving me the solution wow so i've already updated i've already done this step so that's not needed but let's copy this new method and paste it error gone no so at this point i'm going to use my android logic so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the documentation so let's see the data type of image view it is network image view and what we are doing is we are setting it through a url so for that i'm going to google set uh, set network image view using URL. So kabhi kabhi yaar Google kar lena chahiye. But if you want, I can just ask chat GPT. Let's just use chat GPT. So let's just ask the same statement using chat GPT and let's not use Google. But this is what I am using my Android logic. This is, this question is not coming from chat GPT. This is coming from an Android logic. So yaad rakhna ki logic is needed when copying too. So now at this point, it is telling me a better answer. So it is telling me the steps that if this is the URL, you need image loader as well. So let's try it out. So let's copy this code and let's improve it. So we were in image adapter. Um, so let's command Z and now I am going to paste the new code it has generated. We need image loader import. And do you know why this was an error? Because if you look at this method, set image URL, the second parameter was missing. So what we are doing is we are creating this image loader and that will help you. But we don't have Q either. Let's ask it again. Give me an example of set image URL in network Im image view Android in Kotlin. Let's ask the same question in different words. Let's see if it improves the answer. So examples are one of the best way to learn. So let's see what it does. Um, I think now it nailed it. Now I think it makes sense. Because last time it did not create these two data types which we needed. It assumed we have it. Now by asking better questions, it is able to give me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this code as well. So let's go to Android Studio. So I'm going to paste number one is we need image loader. Let's remove the previous code we copied. And I'm going to move this 
below it because this is the method which is needed to you know set the image and here we're going to pass one more thing image loader you can take a reference at chat gpt it is saying the same and let's go back and here some things are missing wally we need to import it import context now here again i have to use my logic now to fix this error i cannot just copy paste i cannot just do alt enter import this will not work because aapko thoda brain use karna padega. you have to use your logic. Now here, I'm going to explain you the concept of context. Context is like, you know, in the whole app, you're telling the exact location, kahan se idea lena. how to get the context as in how to get the location in the app. Like context is like a room, like, you know, every room has different dimensions. You need to give boundaries to the app. So to, for context, for, so for that reason, context is needed from this part of the app so i let me let me just tell you here what i'm gonna do is for that i'm gonna do current item dot uh here i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use it from holder holder dot image view dot context so this is how i'm getting context because we need from the image not from the whole app so you know thoda sa practice karoge. as you practice more you will get to do no details about this now let's just copy let's just import rest of the libraries uh alt enter alt enter now done so this file is it fixed yeah this file is fixed it's no more red one error fixed but it needed my android experience remember that so my job is not completely gone next main activity so here there are some errors too let's see where are the errors so error is in this part so let's just do option enter try to automatically fix it so add suspend mo suspend modifier to all functions in hierarchy so let's do just automatic fixes alt enter and uh, and what it did was it actually added suspend keyword here so error was in here as well as here we added suspend key automatic fix but it is not fixed yet so you have to know why it is not fixed so let's ask chat gpt copy this code let's ask here fix this method so let's see if it can fix or not so they, this code looks fine but you can simplify so it is telling me it doesn't have any error look at this but there are errors even if i try to run the app so let's try to run the app so running we are running the app i'm pretty sure it's gonna fail because it says that there is an error okay it failed so there is a gradle exception so you can you can see now here again you have to use some sort of logic because chat gpt is telling you this is correct and let's see what are the modifications it did let's copy the modified code even even let's try that if it can help you or not still there is error it is not gone yet. I know the solution, but I can tell you how to make chat GPT do it for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this fix, suspend the automatic fix. I'm going to copy this again and then go to chat GPT and fix again. Let's see if it can, you know, give you a better answer so that you can solve the problem. Now it is telling me, yeah, there is, it, is, it has a problem and it is giving me one possible solution. So the idea of chat GPT is you can keep asking it for different responses. So hit and trial say you can solve the problem. That is the magic of chat GPT. So let's use it. So let's copy this new code and then paste. Still, there is a problem. It is still red line. So add suspend. It is, it is not fixed yet. It is telling me that I can use life, uh, lifecycle.scope.launch let's see if we can use it so i'm going to see where this method is called it is called right here so let's replace it here uh, let's copy this whole thing and then let's see if it is gone or not so copy pasting done let's run the app if it fixes the solution or i have to use my logic again no it did not so let's try asking ChatGPT for a better solution. Copy again. Then give me better solution. This didn't work. Okay. Okay, everyone. It is still failing you to give the right solution. I'm not going to explain you. I'm just going to paste 
the logic I know. I'm just gonna fix the method and paste it right here and it is fixed. So, you know, you need some understanding at the end of the day to fix this method. And if you Google it, you will be able to find it. Let's run the app now. Terminate. Okay. Oh my God. Wallpapers are here. And you know, if you want to know the details, what's happening is we are reading from the URL. So you can see this URL here. So if you go to this URL, you can see all of the, this is like a JSON array, uh, which all, which has all the URLs to download the image. This is lightweight image. You can open each image, which is pretty good quality. So this is, this can act as a template for your Android app with images from Dali or mid journey. Now, if I scroll, you can scroll it. It needs some AI improvement. You can ask chat GPT, copy the code, ask it to improve the UI. You can do it. But at the end of the day, the template is ready for you to use and you can use it. Let's try if we can set a wallpaper. So if I go home, this is my current wallpaper right now. And then let's go to this app. Let's choose a random wallpaper and let's go home. Wallpaper set successfully. You see the toast image, but it's not set right now. Let's wait. I think it's taking time. Oh yes. I see a black screen. And yes, the white wallpaper is successfully set. So this app is ready to be used as a template for any wallpaper app you want to create. You have to set up this so you can even ask, you know, ask this website how this is said to be used as images from Dali. You can even ask ChatGPT how this website was made. Help me make as well and literally paste the link and it'll help you because it's part of the same conversation. This website is a simple API that returns list of photos and you can use this and you know it's still a lot of work but you can follow these steps and in this API, you can put the images of wallpapers from Dali and get started. And after that, you have to ask it one more question that how to put ads, put ads on Android app and it will tell you the ad using, it'll, it'll tell you the method using ad mobi or, you know, it, uh, ad mo it'll tell you the methods like ad mob, Facebook audience network, all of these networks. And then you can find tutorial for ad mob on your own and make this app and monetize it. So that actually proves that Android apps have become much easier to make as compared to before. Is it going to replace my job? Maybe because I think the amount of time it took me to make this wallpaper app, it is around <laughs> 10 times less if I was starting from scratch. You know, you read documentations and you make it, but the experience I have, I still had to use my logic. So, knuckle ke liye bhi akal chahiye. so you know, I think it can maybe replace in a team of 10 developers, replace one developer, but it's not at the level that it can replace five engineers with one AI. No, it hasn't reached that, but 10 engineers can be replaced by nine engineers with an AI if not, or if all nine engineers are using AI to speed up their work. So that is the reality. So be ready to use it to become a more productive engineer so that you cannot be replaced by AI. So all the best everyone and thank you so much for watching.